This is the story of how I met the person behind the Explore Envy blog, Laura. But first, some context. If you are from a small town, you are probably used to being told you need to leave to have opportunities. Today, I am talking about those of us who reject that thought. It's about those that love where we live and where we are from. It's especially for those of us who have followed that advice and went elsewhere to chase that so-called success, but instead, we discovered a new love for our hometown and our home province. We realized, holy shit, life is really good in New Brunswick. When I moved away from my hometown, I found I was spending a lot of my time defending where I grew up. Five years ago, I had a blog where I traveled New Brunswick with the help of Tourism NB to highlight how awesome it is. While my blog has since faded, my love for New Brunswick has only grown stronger. When I started this YouTube channel, I began researching hikes to feature. This is when I came across explorenb.ca. As I read through the posts and the about page, I literally felt like someone had taken the words from my brain. I immediately sent a message through Facebook and said, hey, I don't know how I never came across your page before, but I just did and knew I needed to message you ASAP. I think you and I should get together and chat and explore. To which Laura replied, always fun to meet a like-minded friend. Would totally be up for an adventure sometime. It took a long time to coordinate schedules, but six months later, we finally made it happen. I planned out a full day in the St. John area, beginning with meeting in person over a coffee at Rogue in Uptown St. John. Yes, St. John has an uptown, not a downtown. It's one of the many reasons why I love St. John. After fueling up with some coffee and St. John charm, we headed to my favorite hike, which you guys know well, Split Rock. Laura and I share the fact that we realized how incredible our home province was after moving away. As Laura says, no Funswick says who. We spent the day in awe of the coastline and talked about how locals take where we live for granted. We aren't so naive to think it's perfect and it doesn't have issues, but we both want to highlight what makes it beautiful. Like adding artwork to a home, a positive outlook about a location can change it entirely. After our hike, we went to La Pro Falls for a swim. To be honest, we could have squeezed in more, but we took our time on the hike and at the falls. By the end, we were starving, so we went back uptown to finish our day at one of my favorite local restaurants, Cask and Kettle. We didn't film or photograph that part because I guess we were just enjoying each other's company. Go figure. Make sure to follow Laura's blog and Instagram, and keep an eye out for her post about our adventure. I hope you get outside and explore your own backyard. Look for the good and it will outweigh the bad. I promise. You might even give it a seal of approval. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and let me know in the comments below why you love where you live.